Hello, happy, happy, whatever day you're on, happy, happy month, year, and I come to you to speak today about the BS of billionaires. I want you to know that I've dealt with wonderfully competent and smart, high worth, net worth people, and I have helped personal finances along the way when I deal with people's businesses. I've got a lot of experience, almost 40 years, so I kind of know what I'm talking about, even if I get a little tongue tied. So today, what I want to focus on is the BS that is billionaires. Now, I don't even want to say millionaires, but I'm going to put them in a subcategory. But I want to talk about the term billionaire and I want to talk about what it means to really be a billionaire versus the BS out there. Okay, so number one, every single year, calendar year, usually January 1st to December 31st, you get in revenue if you own a business, right? And the revenue you get in could be $3 billion. But if you own a business, you then have labor and parts and advertising and marketing and professional fees and all of this. And by the time you're done, that $3 billion in revenue may only be $450,000 in actual income, net income. So remember, just because you made a billion dollars does not mean you're a billionaire. It just doesn't. And we've gotten away from the reality of what a billionaire or a millionaire means. We just say, oh, he made a billion dollars and now he's a billionaire. No. No, a billionaire is only a billionaire after the following. So let's say you're calling yourself a billionaire and you have assets worth $5 billion. Okay, that means you probably have investments, houses or commercial buildings, loans out there that people owe you, which means a receivable that you could get back. Someone owes you money and so you put it over there on your balance sheet and say, hey, this reliable person owes me $6 million. So that's on my sheet sheet as an asset because it's owed to me. So you get your buildings on there, you get your investments on there, your stock portfolio and a loan that someone has for you and your own business value that you have that you say, well, if I sold this business, I would get a billion dollars. So everybody says, okay, he has assets or she has assets of over a billion dollars. So she must be a billionaire. He is a billionaire. And the answer is no. I literally teach teenagers every week and work with teenagers on all these trigger sayings and phrases about billionaires and millionaires and what it really means to be a billionaire or a millionaire and what it doesn't mean. Just because you earn a million dollars in a year does not make you a millionaire. Just because you have assets of over a billion dollars does not make you a billionaire. Here's what makes you a true billionaire. You have assets of five billion. Your liabilities, which are the things you owe against those assets or the things you owe in life come to only 3 billion. So after you take all of your assets and total them up realistically, not these inflated assets that these billionaires run around making, but actually an appraised asset and you have assets of 5 billion and you have true loans and liabilities and expenses, not expenses, but debt against them of 3 billion. And after it's all said and done and you take your assets, your liabilities, and you add in that income over there that I talked about, if it's over a billion dollars, and it's called net worth. And if you liquidated, you would have $2 billion liquid money cash. Then you are truly a billionaire. If it's all on paper and it's all inflated or understated and you cannot at the end of the day get rid of everything, pay off everything and have a billion dollars in your hand, you are not a billionaire. So I'm going to go over how that works again. Just because you made a billion dollars in a year in revenue does not make you a billionaire. Just because you have assets of several billion dollars does not make you a billionaire. A billionaire is one whose assets exceed their liabilities and in liquidating, they have a net of a billion or more. So we get this tossed around all over the place. Oh, they're worth a billion dollars. They're worth $6 billion. Oh, they're worth a hundred billion dollars. And then you find out, oh, they lost $57 billion today. Well, all of that's on paper. They're saying, oh, that stock doesn't matter anymore. That stock lost its value or 
they sold off these assets or their company is going under or whatever. And they say, oh, they lost all that money. Well, you know, until you have it in your hand, it's not your money. It's all floating around on paper. So what we have in our life, even if you are watching this and you say, I have $500 in the bank and I barely make ends meet, you still get to have an income statement and a balance sheet. So an income statement, which is an abbreviation is IS and I call it is, your income statement is what your life is. Income statement IS is. Right now, you can make up your own income statement. In comes the money, out goes the taxes, out goes the rent, the mortgage, everything that you're doing. And at the bottom line is your net income. Now it might be negative and then you're using credit cards to try and offset that negative cash. But the balance sheet, which is our life, a balance sheet is actually supposed to be the health of your life, your financial life. And that's called a BS. And I'm telling you, for the most part, those billionaires out there are full of BS and I'm calling BS on them. So don't always believe what you hear and what you read. Billionaires can be full of BS and a balance sheet can be BS if you have inflated assets and understated debt. And then at the end of the day, if your net worth, if they're not talking about your net worth being a billionaire, you, my friend, are not a billionaire. Sell everything, pay everything, and then talk to me and tell me if you're a billionaire when that's all over. So please, people, when you read these billionaires and it's thrown out there in every magazine and everything, call BS on that billionaire until you get the facts. And indeed, I don't spend the day worrying about billionaires or so-called billionaires, and you shouldn't either. But if you're getting wrapped up in what a billionaire really is, remember that it's all your assets minus your liabilities. Add in that net income. And are you a billionaire at the end of that exercise? Have you told the truth about the value of your assets? Have you told the truth about the amount of debt you owe? Did you offload it to some company in the Cayman Islands? Because that's what Enron did. Enron took all of its money and put it in one company and took all of its debt and put it on other companies, LLCs, fake things after Star Wars names or Star Trek, I think it was Star Wars, and sent them to other countries. So they had all this debt, right? Billionaire company Enron had all of this debt, but they took it off their BS, their balance sheet, which was BS, and they put it the debt over other places. So investors thought that they were billionaires. And then all their employees 401ks were based on that. And then the big guys sold all their stock, took all their money and left everybody else without a dime. That, my friend, was a BS billionaire. None of the debt on their books, all of their assets showed that they were wildly, wildly lucrative and wildly on top of things, but all their debt had been put on books for other companies, fake company. So no, and Ron, they weren't billionaires. They lied through their teeth the whole time and they sunk a lot of lives in that lie. So please be careful when you go get a job, you have a right to see the health of the company if you're investing your time and they're promising you all this, you have the right to say, so what kind of billion dollar company is this? Do your homework, investigate. Don't always believe when a billionaire says I'm a billionaire because it's probably not true. Thanks for listening. Like, and subscribe. I know that billionaires is not part of our daily lives, but I hear it all the time. I read about it all the time. Every time I do financial news, one damn billionaire after another. And I always think, I wonder if they really are billionaires. Thanks for listening. I appreciate you.